Okay, I got my square for the ceiling support box cut out. I'm going to have to frame this out to support the box. I have cut the sheetrock ceiling open and now I've got to do a little framing to support the chimney. So there's the opening. That is where the support box is going up through the ceiling and uh, I'm going to be doing some framing. Thought I had a bugger there. I'm going to be doing some framing to get that supported. And then uh, once that's done, poke a hole straight up through the, uh, the roof decking and through the shingles and get the sawzall and cut a big old hole and get the flashing in place and the chimney and hey, we're, we're ready to roll. Kids are all here making a mess, uh, blown in insulations everywhere. Um, got the shop back. It's uh, probably doing more mess than, than good. Had some Herefords delivered today, guys. I'm gonna be doing a video on that. Have me some new, some new genetics brought here from Hopkins Ranch of Herefords, Winchester, Tennessee. Guys, look them up. I'll uh, have links for that. Good guys, high quality Herefords. Real impressed, real impressed, Jordan. You and your wife, thanks a lot. All right, more to come. I'm getting my vitamin D in. I'm getting my vitamin D today. Up on the roof near the peak there, that's the flashing. That's your uh, Class A chimney pot flashing. That's what's going to sit down on your roof. It's going to be tucked up under your shingles so you don't have any leaks. That's the goal, not to have any leaks. Took a Sharpie marker and I marked this beautiful round circle on my shingles. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna cut it out. We're gonna cut out that big circle. And we'll take, I got my drill here. I'll take, I'm gonna give me some pilot holes around through here uh, to get my saws all started. And I'm gonna cut out a beautiful round hole in my roof. At this point, guys, you're committed. You're committed to this project. Drilled me four holes there. That's the four corners. I've got it traced out with a Sharpie. I'm gonna take the saws all there and I'm gonna cut this big hole out. And we will open up to the world, guys. Screwed in place, ready to rock. Maintain the two inch clearance to anything combustible. Heavy bead of Lexol. It's worth the extra money to buy that. Um, the higher temp uh, silicone as well. So we're gonna slide the flashing up. I've loosened up my shingles. Um, so we're going to slide the flashing underneath the shingle, get it in place, nail it down, um, caulk everything real good, probably put some black mammy around it, and then we'll be screwing pipe. From here on, it's just easy. Do the flashing and screw your, uh, screw your, uh, I say chimney pipe pieces in. 